The Russell is off to a strong start this year. I'm Angela Miles with the Russell Report. Traders who jumped into bullish Russell options positions during the past couple of weeks should be pleased here. The Russell is off to the best New Year start since 1987. The index tracks small caps and has surged 8%. Compare that to the S&P, which is up about 5% or the Dow up about 4% and the NASDAQ with about a 6.8% gain. Traders and options experts on my early reports were talking about the January effect and they were spot on. One quick caution, while the small caps are highly favored now, some traders are mentioning that if the economy slows down, companies with high debt levels could be hit hardest. Bigger picture, when the small caps rally with conviction, it can be an indication that the broader market will follow. Let's jump into trading action. This week, some very bullish calls were active at the March 1600 strike. Those are way out of the money and a sign that a trader wants exposure to a hard rally in the Russell. Right now, the Russell is trading around 1,470. Also active, the April 1600 calls and the June 1530 calls. Near term, the January 1450 and 1470 calls are getting some action today. Those do expire next Friday. On the put side, the the January 1380 and 1390 weeklies expiring next week are also active. The ratio, one call trading for every one put. That is the theme we have seen this week with more calls than normal trading. And keep in mind, we are going into that long holiday weekend. The straddle next week is predicting a move of around 2% and the RVX is trending lower at 21. Coming up, some trader talk right after this quick break with Joel Hawthorne. Joel Hawthorne in the Morning Snapshot joins me now for some trader talk. And I know you're watching the action in the Russell because you sometimes put on some trades here. So what's your thought, Joel? Uh, as this market, as we approach back into 2018 territory, I am very bullish to Russell right now. Uh, I think right now, you know, starting the session, the VIX is trading 17 and change. We've been kind of grindy, slowly stepping our way back into uh, kind of a bull trend. And for that, uh, the Russell is leading the way. The Russell is leading that way. And what would be an option strategy for you here, Joel? I really like the 1470s right here. Uh, those 1470s right here, I like. I think we can, if we can kind of get above that 1485 mark, I think we can kind of test uh, about 14, uh, about 1490s and change or so. You do? I do, I do. And for that, I'm looking to put on a call spread and kind of see if we can kind of play that out for a little bit. Let's break down your call spread. What strikes and what options expirations? Uh, we're looking out to about March. March. So giving myself a little bit of time, just because, like I said, this is a this market has been kind of stair stepping its way back into this bull trend. So I'm buying the 1470s and I'm actually selling the 1490s. Uh, that'll give me enough time uh, out until March 15th to kind of see this trade take place. And uh, this trade, my exposure on this about is about $10.90 actually. And you want to make sure it doesn't go over that amount, hopefully, because you are putting a cap, but yes. it still indicates that you think that Russell is likely to head higher from here. Absolutely. I mean, right now the, the bull trend is uh, really strong. And like I said, I'm just kind of anticipating us getting above that 1485. I think as we do break above there, we'll definitely see this trade uh, take place very well. Joel, thanks so much for the trader talk. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful long holiday weekend, everybody.